man, I'm tired. But uh, these guys are apparently making trades at midnight. So um, here we are. Big blockbuster trade. Let's talk about it. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Deloitte, man. And like I just said, a big time blockbuster trade happening once again at midnight. For some reason, the NBA likes just making trades in the middle of the night. They did it with Kevin Durant, and now they're doing it here with Kristaps Porzingis. Now, earlier in the day, I did report that Porzingis was going to be shipped off to the Boston Celtics, and I was a huge fan of that trade. Well, that's still happening. He's still going to Boston, but the Clippers who were involved with that trade, they are no longer involved in that trade. Which means Malcolm Brogdon, who was supposed to go to LA, is staying in Boston, at least for now. That would be an awkward situation. I don't know if they still look to try to move him now in the off season since they just, just traded him, or they just go ahead and keep him and say, hey, it's business, we're sorry, we didn't mean it. I don't know what's going to take place, man, but as of now, Malcolm Brogdon is still a Celtic. So obviously everything is still coming in, but let me break down the new three team trade involving Kristaps Porzingis. So the Washington Wizards are going to be receiving Tyus Jones from the Memphis Grizzlies. So they're actually getting back a starting caliber point guard who was only 26 years old. I like it. I like that a lot for them. Well, not a lot. I like it for them, right? You, you get a quality player that could come in and start for you as you go through this rebuild, right? For the Memphis Grizzlies, they get Marcus Smart, who I am shocked was actually traded. Now, you heard some rumblings that they could be interested in trading Marcus Smart. I did not think it was going to happen, especially this offseason. So this is the big shocker to me. Marcus Smart is going to Memphis. Crazy deal. He fits in with that Memphis squad. I don't know if I like them moving on from Tyus Jones, especially with John Morant's suspension. But nonetheless, I like Marcus Smart going to Memphis. That is a good deal for them. Now for the crazy part, because Marcus Smart was not cheap. So we know the Celtics are getting Porzingis from the Wizards. But now they are getting the 23rd overall pick in tomorrow or today, whatever time zone you're in or whenever you're watching it, the 23rd overall pick in the 2023 draft. They are getting a 2024 first round pick also from the Grizzlies. So two first round picks and Christos Porzingis. That is the haul that the Boston Celtics are getting. Huge. I like the deal before. But this deal is a serious haul. Now, the question mark is what's going to happen to that team, to that locker room without Marcus Smart? Marcus Smart is almost like a Draymond Green type. He doesn't have the best stats in the world, but he provides a lot to that team. And many people just feel like he is the heart and soul of the Boston Celtics. He is now gone. Porzingis, yes, a more talented player, won't provide the same thing in that locker room or that same type of grit. You do, however, get two first round draft picks that you could use to try to draft somebody that maybe has that grit or somebody that can make a difference for you. So I would say still overall, I'm a fan of this trade. I don't know if I like it more or if I like it less because I don't want to get rid of Marcus Smart. Malcolm Brogdon was okay to get rid of. That sounds terrible. But Marcus Smart, I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out if he was really, you know, that core guy. Because Porzingis, a more talented player that fits that offense beautifully. That's why I like it. But sometimes you just need that guy, man. And Marcus Smart could have been that guy or maybe he wasn't. The Boston Celtics are gambling that he was not that guy and they will be okay with Porzingis and their two first round picks. Also interesting to note that the Memphis Grizzlies gave up more for Marcus Smart than the Suns did for Bradley Bill. Just, just another side note there. Um, for the Memphis, not the Memphis Grizzlies, excuse me, for the Washington Wizards, it's interesting. People are saying that they took a massive L. I don't look at it as a massive L. For them, they really didn't want Kristaps Porzingis to even accept his player option, right? $36 million when you're trying to rebuild, you don't need him on your team. You're really trying to lose. 
why are we paying this much money? They wanted him to decline that player option. But for Porzingis, he's not making $36 million a year in the open market. So he needed to go ahead and accept that player option. So he did just that. They really wanted him to decline it. He wasn't going to decline it. So you had until midnight Eastern to find a suitor, find a team that will take him. There's not a bunch of teams lining up to take that contract on that can't you know give a lot of contract back you're getting back Tyus jones who's making around 16 million dollars way less and you know you could decide what to do with him later on down the road but I'm, i don't think it's a massive l for washington you know the objective the objective is to lose the objective is to rebuild the objective is to hopefully find some young guys that we could rebuild with that's it they're not trying to win they are not trying to win at all so for them it makes sense the grizzlies you gave up a lot for marcus smart i don't know if this is you know a dylan brooks type of replacement but i do like him marcus smart is a dog man he'll fit in tyus jones is going to be a huge loss as well so they're gambling and then of course you guys know how i feel about the celtics gamble just because we don't know what marcus smart was going to you know mean to them the Grizzlies think he's going to mean a lot to them. So all in out, man, I probably, I, I think I talked myself out of it. I don't love it as much as I did earlier today, but still a good trade, still a good trade. But you guys let me know how you guys feel about it in the comment section below is D Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.